Hey, I was looking through some old archives of mine, and I was amazed to find this uh, intact Adobe Premiere project from 2006 featuring Moby Games. And let's uh, take a look at this with some commentary. So what this is, is uh, we exhibited, uh, w when I was still part of Moby Games, uh, we exhibited it at, at several shows. And uh, this particular show was Game Developers Conference 2006. We had a booth, we had a portable version of Moby Games, uh, because we, you know, there was no internet access over Wi-Fi back then. And uh, this was an attract video on a loop that projected to a large projection screen behind us. It was meant to attract people and get it, uh, you know, get them talking to us about Moby Games and contributing and so forth. We could, you know, give them our pitch. The reason I thought it was cool to share this with you is because uh, it is a snapshot of Moby Games in 2006. Now, unfortunately, in reconstructing this Premiere Pro project from 2006, the, I couldn't find any way to get the titles to convert. So unfortunately, all of my titles uh, and captions and lower thirds are missing. But hopefully uh, what is here is, is still interesting. And you can see, uh, you know, this is a snapshot of only, you know, six years, six and a half years after Moby Games was born. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting things here. If there's anything that, that you want to stop and take a look at, feel free to pause the video. This kind of spastic movement here uh, was meant to... This was all the background for some title that I had put up saying things like, you know, 30,000 games, 20,000 developers, 20,000 screenshots, that kind of stuff. So that's what the that's why this is seemingly spastic, but it doesn't last this long. We get uh, slower stuff um, pretty soon. See, I added a very quick reply to uh, somebody there that was showcasing our then new forums and private messaging. There's a very long white section here. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what the titles were, but um, I have very fond memories of going to almost all of these shows. Um, the last one I attended as a Moby Games employee would have been 2007. Got to see the Game Developer Awards there and uh, it was uh, a great experience, and I still had fond memories of this show as well in 2006. So now we have the much slower presentation here, um, and, uh, you know, it is what it says on the tin. It very, you know, it brings up a single game sheet, and I like the, uh, I like how the Moby scores are bars there. I had forgotten we'd done that. Um, but as you know, we competed as, as the whole site was redesigned and, and competed with itself for real estate, uh, we had to shrink those down. This obviously showcasing the very diverse amount of release details for a particular platform for a particular game. You know, it's funny, you can see that the overall layout of Moby Games uh, did not change for a very long time, and that's because it was designed for desktops. You know, IMDb didn't change for a long time either, and, and uh, we did take some inspiration from IMDb when we laid out the site. But yeah, there's still remnants of, uh, you know, the early Moby Games site layout, even in the current website. Now with the uh, acquisition of Moby Games by Atari, hopefully there will be some resources put towards uh, modernizing the site and laying it, laying it out differently. I'm not sure. I have no connection with the new owner, um, but I do wish them the best. Uh, it's um, not always um, profitable to run a games history website. 
So uh, I do thank whoever put the deal together. And, uh, but I'm glad they did, and uh, it's great that Moby Games is going to continue to be around for both uh, game players and game makers. Uh, Moby Games is, is really valuable for people on both sides of the industry. In fact, uh, it was really great to see people in the industry talk about Moby Games, especially when we had nothing to do with it. Uh, without us sending out a press release or anything, um, there was this show on G4 called Electric Playground. And uh, one of the uh, producers of the segments, um, and also a presenter, Victor Lucas, did a small section of Electric Playground called Extended Play, not to be confused with the actual Extended Play or X-Play, where he and his uh, co-presenter talked a little bit about Moby Games, and it, it was came out of the blue. I was so happy to see it. Uh, I caught it, uh, recorded on my DVR at the time, a Replay TV 5000, and I managed to save that segment, and in fact, added it to the end of this Attract video. So, uh, so you'll see it too. Um, and I'll definitely stop talking when we get to that point so that you can hear everything that they had to say. If Victor Lucas uh, sees this, I just wanted to thank him for putting in such a good word for us. Having media coverage in the Attract video lent Moby Games some um, credibility at the show, and it really helped, so thank you. Obviously going over some company sheets now. It's kind of interesting to see. Yeah, see, look at all this information. This was this is why, and all those con wonderful contributors too. All the people who helped uh, make Moby Games. It's it really turned out incredibly well. Uh, you know, and I'm sorry I'm no longer really involved with it, but I'm so glad that Brian and I were able to create it and bring it to you guys. And now I'm going to be quiet because that Electric Playground segment is coming up. Hey, we've got a very cool game break for all of you game fanatics and aspiring game developers out there. It's called MobyGames.com, and this is a very cool website. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's trying to be like the end-all, be-all, complete database for video game credits, kind of similar to the internet movie database, imdb.com. Oh, that's great. And the awesome thing about it is that it encourages people to get on the system yeah. and enter in all of the credits from some of their favorite games. Yeah. And the, the, the user database can, can add to the overall growth of it. So you can search by name of developer. If, you, if you've got a friend in the industry like Tommy Tallarico and you want to find out some of the games that he's worked on, you can do that. Or you can search by game title and you get a whole list of credits and then you can click from there. And it, it's basically a nice never-ending tree of information it's absolutely been a very cool website for me personally and definitely something I recommend for all of you game fans. 